All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. Jesse Murphy, I believe, first time on this channel with a song called Always Being You. So, if you had followed me for a while now on Gordon Guitar, uh, perhaps you like my content here. And if you do, please take a moment here to subscribe. And yeah, let's move on with this tutorial here. We need to set our capo here on the fourth fret. And we have a couple chords here to go through four I believe so let's start with those first we have the G so that is third on E second on A open D open G third B and third E next is E minor so that is open E second A second D open G open B and open E then we have B minor so that is a bar here on the second fret from the A string and down. So that means five strings from below and up. And the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. And the final chord will be a D chord, but with an F sharp in the bass, like that. So you need to bar on the second fret here from the D string and down. You could do that. Uh, so that means four strings on the second fret and the rest will be fourth on D and third on B. So that's the D with F sharp at the base. So this one uh, is um, cool here because we have a couple of notes that we want to bring in and it's very easy. So we like that combo when we have some extra uh, to it, but it's not that hard to handle. So um, I'm going to show you like one chord progression here and um, it will be divided into two parts i will call that part one and part two and i'm gonna explain later how it's done but just listen here first how it sounds all right so that was part one and part two so what we did there was the G chord here. You make a downstroke on that one only. And here you don't want to incorporate all strings like that. You want to stay after a couple of notes here in the middle here. So if you just make a downstroke till from the E in the bass down to perhaps the G or so. Uh, and the note you want to emphasize here really is the open D string. So this one. So. So if you just play down till this open D string, uh, that is great since that is one way of like emphasize a note or a string is to stop at that string. So that is what you could do like that. So that means one downstroke more on the bass strings here. So that's what you do for G here. And for E minor, we have this standard E minor chord here. And we are going to play this like it is later. But for this melody here that goes in the first verse here, uh, you want to incorporate uh, notes here like these two notes here. So when you're playing downstrokes there two times. So uh, what you can do there, you can just bar here on the second fret these two uh, notes here on the A string and D string, so you can bar those two. And then you can, while you're making a downstroke here, you can put your finger here on the fourth fret D string to get that note on the first down. And on the second down, you just release it and try to emphasize the second fret on the D string. So the notes you want to highlight here will be fourth on D string and second on D string. So you do two downstrokes, one with the fourth notes here on the D string, uh, sorry, fourth fret on D string and one downstroke with the second fret on D string. All right. So, so far we covered G and E minor. So open D string emphasize there and then fourth fret on E minor and then second fret on E minor. All right. Then comes the B minor chord here. And normally you bar all the strings here on the second fret from the A string and down. 
But for this one, you want to highlight the open D string. So therefore you cannot bar this one if you want to hit this note here. So what you do there, you just put your finger on the second fret A string. And then you need to have also the fourth fret on the G string here. And you try to emphasize the open D string, but you can bar from, sorry, make a downstroke from the A string to the G string. If you wish, you can also incorporate the B string here, but then you have to put your finger on the third fret B string. I would avoid that because uh, it's uh, harder to emphasize the open D string if you bring in too many strings uh, on the higher notes up down here. So try to just make a downstroke from A to G. Okay, like that. And that is the B minor. So, so far, one down on G. Emphasize the open D string. Two downs on E minor and emphasize the fourth D and the second D. And one down on B minor, try to emphasize the open D string. That is the part one. Okay, so the part two will be only one chord left here. And that's the D chord with F sharp in the bass. And here you will do two downstrokes. So you will try to emphasize the fourth fret on the D string again. And then you release this one and try to emphasize the second fret on the D string. So it will be like this. Right. And again, don't make downstrokes for all these strings down here. Try to avoid that just for this chord, perhaps do. Uh, yeah, it, it's enough with only the D and the G string actually. So you could, uh, uh, touch the B string there as well if you wish but the important one is the D and even the G there so that last chord will be the part two there's a reason for why we are dividing uh, and separating these chords in two different parts here the first verse will be one round of part one and then part two and then on this next part it will be just part one so you can say that verse first first verse here consists of part one part two and then part one and that's it for the first verse then comes a pre-chorus the first one in the lyrics usually i ain't the type to stay up all night long so yeah that's where we are and for this one you're just gonna play the standard chords here we learned the g one down then the e minor one down then the b minor one down and then you're gonna play part two which means the d with the f sharp in the bass with this note emphasized okay and then you're gonna play again this chord progression so one down on g one down on e minor and one down on b minor without the D F sharp in the end there. So to summarize this first pre-chorus, G, B minor, B minor, then part two, and then back again to G, E minor, and B minor. Yeah. Then we have a chorus here, cause in my head it's always been you. That's where we are in the lyrics and that's the theme here for this song. So, how do we play this? Pretty much the same as you played in the verse, but you would play it for two rounds. So that means part one, part two, and then part one. That is one half here. That's the half, first half of the course. And you just repeat that part one, part two, and then part one. So that is the course. And after this chorus, there's not much new to this song here. Uh, it will be a second verse there. And for this one, you just play part one and part two. So it's a bit shorter than the first verse. And that's it. Then the pre-chorus number two. For this one, you just play the part one. So the G, the E minor and the B minor with all the notes emphasized on this part. And then comes the second chorus, played in the same way as the first chorus. And this song ends with an outro part, and that is played in the same way as the first 
pre chorus, which means the G, E minor, and B minor one down, and then part two, the D with F sharp, and then again G, E minor, and B minor one down. And it lands on a final G like that. So that is how Jesse Murph's song Always Be New ends. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, and if you subscribed in the beginning, that I talked about, then I'm really happy. Please like this song if you like this one, this tutorial, and see you soon. And don't forget, guys, play tuned.